everyone, Fed Wolf here. I'm gonna show you guys another quick tutorial for Streamlabs OBS. I'm gonna show you how to set up alerts. That way you can have an animation appear on screen when you're streaming for new followers, new subscribers, donations, raids, hosts, etc. I'm using Streamlabs OBS. This should work for both Streamlabs OBS and OBS Studio. So the way I like to set mine up, I'm just going to use my lobby scene that I use when I'm streaming on Twitch. But I already have the alert box here. I'll just show you how to set up a new one. So you would go ahead and under your sources, add a new source. And I use browser source. So before I show you what we do when we add the browser source, the other thing you need to do is open Chrome and then open streamlabs.com. This is where I downloaded the OBS that I use to stream. So go ahead and log in. It'll connect to your Twitch, YouTube, or whatever you're using to stream. And you go over to alert box. Now, this is where you can adjust your settings for each of them. So go ahead and go to follows. This is what I have set up for a new follower. You can set up the image you want here, what you want the message to say when someone follows you um, let's see the sound you can do the volume adjust the how long the alert lasts on your stream you can do font settings and you can do your settings for donations here host bits raids um, let me just quickly explain the difference because I have had a few viewers that were I think new to streaming that asked what is a host and what's a raid so a raid pretty much means, for example, if I'm streaming and I have 20 people watching and I'm about to end my stream, but these viewers may still want to keep watching Twitch, they're not getting off just because I am, I can go ahead and take all of those viewers over to another channel. That way they can be introduced to a new streamer. Versus a host pretty much means, for example, if I'm offline, I can go ahead into my Twitch chat and then type forward slash host and the name of a streamer that is currently live so that their stream appears on my channel here even though I'm offline. Instead of it just showing whatever your offline picture is, it will show that streamer's stream and then link directly to their stream. So that's the difference between a host and a raid. Now, once you have all your settings set up, you would go to the top here and then hit copy. Go back to Streamlabs source. So like I said, browser source, add a source. Because I already have some set up, it's not a brand new one. You probably won't see anything here. So you would just go add a new source and then we'll just make it alerts. There we go, add source. And where the URL is, that's where you would go ahead and paste what we just copied from this site here. Once you have that set up, you would paste it, hit done, and your alerts will appear once you're live and you get a new follower, subscriber, etc. I'm pretty sure, yeah, here at the bottom you can test the widgets. So we'll go ahead and show you a test follow well it's showing too because this is my original one and then this is the new one that I made to show you guys so we'll just take off that new one it's the same thing test a subscriber test a donation test bits test a host etc um, I hope that helps if this video was helpful to you Please don't forget to drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already for more future videos on Streamlabs OBS tutorials and possibly some league clips Anyhow, thank you guys. Take care